Hello YouTube, it's Rosama. And here I have the Gundam FSD, the RX-7801. Um, essentially what the FSD is, is full scale development, and what they were trying to do is make this a mass produced mobile suit. Now this does stem from the local type, uh, and the model itself is pretty much the local type. Uh, I think preferably the North American type, uh, th I think it shares pretty much the same colors and a lot of the same armaments. Um, so there's really not too much different with this, but since I haven't reviewed the local type or the North American local type, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do a full blown review for this as if I never touched those before. Um, and actually the fact is I never uh, touched or even like really messed with those uh, figures at all, those, those kits. So what is left over with the kit? Well, you're going to get a couple pieces, uh, namely some stuff for the backpack right here, and you're going to get some parts for the waist, which I'm pretty sure uh, this is the local type North American. Um, and then over here, you're going to get the chest plate for that same suit. You're going to you're going to get these two uh, orange parts. To be honest, I don't know where these plug into. I want to say they're either a part of the chest or they're going to be a part of the waist. Um, but I'm actually not uh, very certain about where these two parts come from. Then you're going to go ahead and get some um, side like side skirt armor and these look like thrusters for the backpack. So with all the extra parts out of the way, let's go ahead and start at the top from the head all the way down to the legs. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the head. Uh, first thing I want to go ahead and just mention, sorry about the lighting. I don't have my lamps in yet. I won't be getting my lamps until uh, Wednesday of next week, but I think tomorrow while I'm out, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just purchase an extra lamp, just, just to at least have one extra lamp uh, for this review, or for reviews in general, uh, so that way I can give y'all some better lighting. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just start looking at the head. Um, now, the one thing that is actually kind of cool, you can still see the eyes. Uh, through the visor right there. Um, now I, pa I painted the eyes gold so that might kind of help as to like why you can see the eyes um, but basically the visor the visor is a pretty dark red so it's kind of hard to see but when you get like the the light kind of uh, shining in just the right moment you can definitely still see through it. Um, now with the head the one thing I will say is that that front little like um, orange like crown or like jewel uh, that thing's pretty loose. Uh, kind of fell off a couple of times. Uh, luckily, nothing. Luckily, I never like I lost it or anything like that. So just be careful whenever you're maneuvering it. But overall, I don't think there's anything special or different about the head. Uh, you do get some decals uh, for the back as well as for the sides and everything. But overall, the head looks fine. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the chest real quick. Um, the noticeable difference that you're going to go ahead and see is that the front uh, plate as well as the vents right there are different. They're not exactly the same as the local type and uh, North American local type. Um, that's kind of like one of the features I saw and I really liked. You know, it looked a little bit different. It's not the same thing as uh, the other two versions. So I was like, you know what? I really want to get this uh, version just because it's, it has a slight difference. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the backpack. Uh, well, the backpack looks pretty cool. You are going to have uh, the ability to plug in some beam sabers right there, but overall uh, has five different thrusters. Um, you know, easily paintable, and you can go ahead and paint the inside as well if you you know wish. I just went ahead and put a little bit of uh, metallic blue in there because uh, either metallic blue or metallic red to me always looks good inside of thrusters. But overall, looks pretty dope. Okay, so looking at the arms now, um, the arms are pretty much going to be the same. Uh, I know uh, just seeing a couple of the reviews I, I have seen online, um, looks like the arms are exactly the same. I think they have the exact same decals as well. And the decals are really, really nice. Now, obviously, they're uh, stickers, so technically they're not decals. They're just, they would be called sticker markings, um, which they look fine. You know, like the uh, the cut of them are is, is very uh, trimmed. So like the, the uh, orange in particular, you really can't notice that it was just a straight up sticker uh, unless you look hard enough or if it's you know glaring um, from the light. But overall, like I think the stickers really look phenomenal. Um, something that I think most high grades should definitely come with. Uh, if not a couple, then you know maybe a, a full sticker sheet just as this one. But um, that might lead to why this kit was so much uh, money. I think it was like originally like 2200 yen but you can obviously find it for a little bit less than that. But yeah, 2200 yen for a high grade is definitely steep. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the weights real quick. Now this yellow, uh, pretty much, I don't even know what that is technically supposed to be. Like, it's just a V. I know like a whole bunch of mobile suits have that, especially the uh, the granddaddy. But I don't even know what that's supposed to be. But um, anyways, uh, that's actually technically supposed to be a sticker, but it's so easy to just go ahead and paint yellow on there and then put, um, 
panel lining around it just so that way it can pop a little bit. Uh, but overall that's fine. And then the front skirts, obviously they're independent. If you cut them, which I do recommend cutting, uh, then right here you're gonna have these side skirts and then this part's gonna come up, but that's going to be for when we plug in the, um, the ammo belt, like uh, the barrel, the ammo uh, barrel for the uh, Gatling gun and the arm. Now the back part, this actually does not come up, so that sucks, uh, but you do get some orange uh, markings right here, which is really nice and pr looks pretty cool. So this little mobile suit has a pretty nifty little feature. Um, the leg parts kind of just rotate like like this. Um, I think a lot of the uh, Origin kits pretty much has this gimmick. Uh, so you can kind of just rotate the legs a little bit forward. And of course, it's gonna have that little peg center right there, so that way you can go ahead and plug into an action-based stand. And lastly, for the body, uh, we're gonna take a look at the legs. Um, legs look pretty good. I mean, there's there's nothing really too bad about these. Um, they have a pretty good bend. The only, the only, only issue I have with these is that these feet just, they don't have much of like a pivot as far as the ankle. Um, so whenever I do get to my pose video, it's gonna be really, really hard uh, to get this guy standing in some dynamic poses without looking, um, you know, as goofy as it's gonna be, kind of just like on his uh, on his side like that. But overall, it's not really, really too bad. Um, the legs do have some great markings, as, as you can see. Uh, the color is really great. I mean, you're gonna have like this really nice black right here, and then this is pretty much a dark brown, and you're gonna have like this tan for the uh, the inner frame. So overall, the legs are really fine, and there's no there's no underlining issues with them. Okay, so we're gonna start talking about the weapons. Now, the first weapon I wanna talk about is just gonna be the beam sabers. Um, the beam, beam sabers are stored right here in the backpack, um, and then these parts right here can actually rotate uh, just a little bit back and forth um, if you wanna try and like, get in the pose with grabbing the beam saber. The one thing I will say is that they loosely fit in there, so it's not gonna be a very, very tight fit, or at least for mine. Um, so you just gotta watch out, you know, they're gonna probably fall out quite often. And you do get some um, two, in, you know, two in fact, uh, beam saber effect parts. So with that, you'll be able to just go ahead and plug in some uh, beam effects, and then bam, now he has a nice little beam saber at his ready. So you do get three beam sabers. This extra one is supposed to be on this arm, but this piece right here that is on these two little pegs, this is a part for the shield. I've been trying to take this off, but it would not budge, and I'm actually creating like a little stress mark underneath the armor. Uh, so I took this completely apart, and I tried everything to take this off, but it's just not budging. But uh, originally, you were supposed to be able to um, plug you know, one or two beam sabers right here, and then have beam effect parts coming out from the form. Um, this is the same thing that the local types can do, so if you really you know, want to see what it looks like, you can either Google, Google image search it, or look up a review of the local types, and someone's probably gonna have um, that pretty much displayed as well. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna go ahead and utilize is going to be the Gatling gun, which is pretty awesome. Uh, just plugs in right here uh, on the form. Now it can only go on this arm. It cannot go on this one because these just have the two pegs, uh, where this one has the single round uh, peg hole for it to go ahead and peg right in. Now you're gonna have this little extra part right here. Uh, it's basically a um, kind of like just a, a smaller ammo belt or you know ammo ammo drum. Uh, this can just plug in right on the side, so that way if you really don't want to have it with uh, the giant ammo. Um, ammo can that's gonna be coming with it, uh, then you can go ahead and utilize this if you just wanted to have a little more posability and not really worry about that big thing in the back. Okay, and next we're gonna go ahead and put on the drum. So the first thing you wanna do is take off this little side piece right there on the side skirt, and then this part right here is gonna plug in right there on the side skirt. And now you wanna go ahead and take off this uh, portable drum and then plug the ammo belt right <clears throat> inside there. All right, and now you're gonna pretty much have a really awesome Gatling gun with a giant uh, drum magazine on the back. Uh, I think this looks really awesome. This was the selling point for me to get this kit because I just think that Gatling gun, the arm, looks so, so awesome and actually very menacing. Um, so that was just, that's this is the main weapon right here, but it does come with some other things uh, that I'm about to show you right now. 
All right, now with having a Gatling gun and you know having some good firepower, he's gonna need a way to protect himself. So that's why they give you this nice large shield. Um, this is probably one of the coolest shields I've seen in the UC universe. Um, I just never seen it fold like this, so it's kind of a more uh, portable like looking way, or I don't, I don't really know the full function. Uh, but I guess if it's folded like this and it just kind of builds up its dur uh, durability but it has a smaller range uh, for him to protect himself. Now originally you're just going to want to um, put this like with this piece right there but since it's already on uh, I'm just going to go ahead and plug it right in. So obviously you're going to have some good uh, kind of movement with this. Uh, it also has two different like peg holes right there so um, I'm guessing if you want to go ahead and put it up here you can. Um, but that's kind of just up to you. Okay, and the markings you're gonna get on the shield uh, looks really, really awesome. Uh, I love that. I, I just, I love, I love markings on the shield. I, I think that I think it's pretty much a thing most people enjoy. Um, but I love the the orange right here on the sides, and I also love uh, the giant O1 right there. And then uh, whenever you flip it up, then you get uh, 7801, which it's uh, pretty much a serial number. Now you do get this extra shield, which is for the local types. Um, I, I guess you can you can use it because it does have these two peg holes right there. So if you want to use this in place of this shield, you can. I can't demonstrate that since uh, that shield is pretty much uh, stuck on that arm. But you also can store beam sabers uh, right underneath the shield. And then if you bring this little piece down like that, you can actually utilize it as a little stand, which I think is okay. But this isn't a sniper unit, so. I mean, if you had a bigger gun, yeah, but this kind of doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, and you're also going to get this machine gun. Uh, this is primarily used for the local types, but you can use it for this mobile suit as well. Um, now, you do get this little buttstock uh, kind of like extension right here, which is pretty cool. And then you're going to get this extra handle just for increased, mo um, increased stability when utilizing it. And you're also going to get this nice little hand so that way you can grip this a little bit easier. And with the machine gun in hand, it actually looks really, really awesome. Um, it really makes me want to get the uh, North American local tank since it has the same colors and it does have that machine gun as well. I just think I think it looks really, really great, especially with that shield. Um, this it's really like this kit has a lot of awesome weapons, but it has one last weapon for you guys. And here it has its over-the-shoulder cannon. Now, I don't think this um, particular mobile suit, the FSD, is designed or supposed to have this weapon because it's not really demonstrated in anywhere in, in, the, uh, in the box or uh, the manual that it actually has it. Now, it, it does show the instructions on how to you know put it together and where to put it on the mobile suit, but it doesn't really have any kind of like indication that, hey, this kid is supposed to use this so if you want to use it, hey, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't really mind it at all. I think it looks pretty dope myself, um, but I'm probably not going to utilize it just because I don't think it's canon uh, to this particular mobile suit. Now, if it is, um, I mean, it's obviously compatible with it. So I, I think somewhere in the universe, uh, they probably could have used it. They just decided not to. All right, and also you're gonna have this little attachment part right here on the machine gun. So if you want to go ahead and store this on its back, you are more then able to just like so and then while you're not utilizing this shield if you want to go ahead and store it it does come with this little attachment part so all you need to do is plug it into the back like so all right guys well that's all for me um my final thoughts on this kit is um to be honest it's amazing 100 percent it's awesome looking um is it fun to mess with? I would really say it's okay. The uh, main problem is going to be uh, those little beam saber effects, well, the beam saber holders. Um, those those are not really sturdy. They don't really plug in that well, which is probably a good thing because if you have those beam savers painted, then you won't really be uh, stripping the paint. So that could be a good thing. But for me, since this is essentially a straight build with just a couple of top coats, um, I, I, I didn't really care too much for it. Um, now the ankles, the ankles are horrible. Uh, I really don't like them. Uh, it's, it's extremely tedious and difficult to get this guy to pose or to do any kind of proper uh, like standing positions. 
But you know, hey, it's not something I don't I don't really see doing like something really stupid dynamic. This isn't this isn't Gundam Seed or or any other like over the top super robot Gundam uh, series. Um, this is pretty much a grounded you know series. So uh, you know, hey, I kind of give it a pass. It can it can stand up. It can do basic positions. So to be honest, like this is fine. This isn't really uh, too big of an issue. Uh, but the biggest pluses is going to be uh, the weapon sets that it's going to have, the shield, and the markings. I think that all those give it um, a major boost and just looking really presentable and really awesome. So would I encourage you to buy it? Absolutely. If you really want to spend the you know 22 or I would say anywhere from well any 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 less than like. $26, I see this is a good value. Higher than 26, I would probably say pass or maybe wait for a sale or just look elsewhere for um, you know some better pricing. So that's it guys, that's all for me. Uh, definitely thank you for watching this review. Stay tuned for the pose video which is gonna be coming up very soon. Um, other than that guys, uh, stay tuned for more and make sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell for future notifications of my videos and I'll see you in the next review. Bye bye.